The probate process can be intimidating and confusing. In this video, I'm going to give you a guide on probate and how it affects selling in Las Vegas. I'd love to hear your feedback and questions throughout the video, so feel free to do so in the comments. Let's dive in. So let's start with the big question. What is probate? Probate is the legal process needed to transfer or inherit property from someone that has passed away. Probate might be required to legally sell the home or transfer the assets to the heirs. I meet with clients all the time that's had a family member pass away and they're looking to sell the home. If the title is still held in the deceased person's name, I'm going to need something that shows who has the legal authority to sign the listing paperwork and sell the home. I'll give you a perfect example. I met with someone recently and her father had passed away. She had lived in the home for about a year and was looking to sell the home. She contacted me and wanted to get the property on the market. Her father was still the only one on title, so I needed something showing that she could legally sign the listing paperwork and sell the property. She met with an attorney and was appointed by the probate court as the administrator of the state. She also had two sisters, so probate determined that all three of them were heirs and shared in the proceeds. Her father didn't have a will, so there was no way to determine his wishes for the estate. So that's one of the reasons why all three sisters shared in the proceeds. The probate court assigns an administrator of the state. The administrator oversees the process of selling the home and has the ability to sign the listing paperwork. So now on to the probate process in Las Vegas. Losing a loved one can be a difficult time and many times the family doesn't know where to start. You will need an original death certificate for the title company once you sell the home and also for the attorney if probate's needed. I usually recommend to clients to get multiple original death certificates, at least seven to 10. I know seven to 10, that sounds like a lot, but trust me, there'll be multiple situations you'll need them. A will does make it easier for probate court and to understand the wishes of the deceased. However, it's a common misunderstanding. A will does not avoid probate. It's likely you'll still need probate to assign an administrator and have the legal ability to sell the home. In Nevada, even if you have a will, probate will be necessary to sell the home. Probate's time consuming. It can easily take six to eight months for a standard sale. And if there's complications, it could be much longer. I'll give you an example of a complication. I have a property that is in escrow right now. The court assigned an administrator of the state, which took several months to happen. Then that administrator passed away. So we had to have a new administrator assigned, which delayed even further several months. It took over a year before we could finally list the home to sell. And we are just under contract now. So let's take a poll. Have you ever found dealing with legal process processes such as probate confusing or intimidating? Vote in the comments below. What is the realtor's role in probate sales? Choosing a real estate agent that has probate experience and the tools and knowledge to help with the sell can make all of the difference. Many times the estate will need help with other things like how to handle the personal property that's in the home. I have clients that live out of state that are trying to sell a family member's home and they need help with everything like the clothes and the furniture and the dishes and other personal items that you don't think about. It's not easy to deal with personal property these days. I found that since COVID, a lot of the charitable foundations that used to accept donations don't any longer. In fact, I had a client just last week tell me that she had reached out to one and they told her they'd schedule a time to come and pick up her donations, but it would cost her $250 to donate and do so. Also, some of the places like the consignment companies, several of the big ones closed over the last couple years. There's still a handful of consignment companies, but what I find is they're very busy and packed with items, so they're really picky on what they'll accept. There are several estate sale companies that could be a good option for selling a whole house full of furniture. What I find is those companies 
companies want to come in and sell everything. If the heirs to the home come in and take a majority or even a decent portion of the personal property, it really can make a difference on whether a state sell company even feels it's worth doing the sell. There are also a handful of online auction companies that will either do a state sell at the property or possibly purchase a bulk amount of items for cash and then resell them online. All of these can be good options and having a real estate agent that's familiar with these and has the information and ability to help make these arrangements can make a big difference on the time involved and stress for the family. There's other things to keep in mind with regard to preparing the home to list, such as cleaning, trash haul away, possibly painting, and even replacing of carpeting if needed. These are items that I personally help my clients with when listing a property for sale that's a probate. Probate sales are more complicated than your typical real estate transaction. It's important that you use a real estate agent like myself that's experienced in these types of transactions and specializes in probate sales. As a certified probate specialist, I have the knowledge, tools, and experience to handle these types of transactions. I understand the importance of communication for sellers that live out of state and helping walk buyers through the process. And I'm happy to work with you also. If you're new to my channel, hi there. Leslie Carver, your expert guide in the world of real estate with a special focus on Anthem and probate sales. I'm here to offer advice, insights, and updates so you can make an informed decision when it comes to buying or selling real estate in Las Vegas. Remember to please like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you can get notified when a new video drops. Let's keep going. So now on to avoiding probate. Probate can be costly and time consuming. So how do we avoid probate altogether? There's a couple of options. First, having a trust. A trust is one of the best ways to make your wishes clear and transfer the home or other assets easily to your heirs. Once you create a trust, you're the trustee of the trust and can make all the legal decisions and have the ability to sell the home. You designate who the successor trustee is that will take over upon your death. You create a trust now that determines your wishes and then most importantly, and this is crucial, transfer the title of the home or other assets into the trust. I had a situation recently where a client had refinanced and the lender had to remove the title of the home out of the trust for the refinance. After they were done refinancing, they didn't move it back into the trust. And unfortunately, that estate had to go through probate rather than avoid it. If you have a trust, we don't need probate and all I will need is an original death certificate and what's called the certificate of trust. This is usually a tab within the book of the trust that you'll see certificate or within the documents it's labeled certificate of trust. It's somewhere between two to four pages and the back is notarized. All need that and the title company will need it to list the home. It just shows who the successor trustees are that have the legal ability to sign the paperwork. It's that simple. You avoid probate and all I need to see is those two documents. Another option that I've seen but don't necessarily recommend is called deed upon death. In this situation, a deed is recorded on title and takes effect upon your death. In this situation, I've been told it's legal, but what I find is that many of the title companies don't want to provide title insurance in this situation. If you're selling the home, it might take months to pass before the title company is willing to close escrow. They want to make sure there's been plenty of time for any creditors to file a claim. So there could be a delay in this situation. A deed upon death might help you avoid probate for the house, but it doesn't avoid probate for your other assets like your bank accounts and cars. A trust is the easiest way to transfer your assets upon death. When I meet with clients who have a trust, I can have the successor trustee sign the paperwork immediately. There's no delay or additional cost. A trust can also protect you from creditors while you're alive. I recommend meeting with an attorney and talking about what option makes most sense for you. I have a question for you. If you could avoid probate, which option makes most sense for you? Comment below. So let's get back to it. 
selling a probate property. Selling a home in probate requires additional timeframes and does take longer. Once the court has appointed an administrator of the estate, then the paperwork can be signed and the home can be listed for sale. The administrator can accept offers at that time, but offers should be made contingent upon additional court approval. This can take additional time and many of the buyers might be afraid to write an offer on a property that needs this additional court approval. During the court approval, the court opens up to overbidding, which means investors can come in and bid on the property. This will scare many buyers who don't wanna take the risk of losing out. Another possible option is that Nevada passed the Independent Administrator Act in 2011. This act helps expedite the time and cost involved in court approval. Personal representative is appointed to oversee the property and additional court approval is not needed for the sale. This is a big deal because as a real estate agent, this doesn't scare buyers away as we don't need a second court approval for the sale. We can also close in pretty standard timeframes around 30 days. This helps expedite timeframes and reduce costs for the estate. In these situations, it's really important to work with an attorney that understands the probate process and is familiar with the Independent Administrator Act in Nevada. The Independent Administrator Act might not be an option for every estate, so talk to an attorney that will give you the best option for your situation. Of course, for most of my clients, I recommend meeting with an attorney now so you can discuss options for your estate and how to transfer your assets upon your death. Meet with an attorney to discuss all options, such as a living trust, to make it easier for your loved ones when you're not around. It definitely can be a difficult time for your family and being prepared can make all of the difference and make things much easier. I hope this information helps you when it comes to probate and preparing your estate now, sooner rather than later. For more videos about probate and real estate in Las Vegas and Henderson, check out one of my other videos. Appreciate you for watching and see you on the next one.